Hello Facebook, how are the doing? Just loading your, loading the screen up on this end. Bear with me, well, Senorita, whilst I do that. All two of you. Oh, we've got two of you already. Don't know who the two I've got. Being posh again, we've got the odd. We've got the odd Stop iPad. Oh my there God, I could hear myself speaking. Oh, that's better. Oh, there we go. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Catherine. Hell, oh, we've got two Catherines, but spelt different next to each other. We've got Catherine and Catherine. Um, hello, Kerry Lee. Hello, Vicky. Nice to have you all here. This mighty fine Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. I had to have a wee scratchy head moment there. I think what day of the week it was. But it's Thursday. It's Thursday night. How good is this? Um, so, when I'm looking down, folks, I'm being all, I'm being all snobby. Look. Look, there's me being me. Ah, look, I can see so many more of your comments. Look at all them. How did I not use the iPad before so I could see more comments and then look at that blooming screen? This is fantastic. I feel like I'm in heaven because I'm able to see more than three comments at one time. It's like, it's like spramazing. Ha, ah, that's my own word, spramazing. Um, well, if it's good enough for whatever her name is. Nicole Schelzinger, or Scherzinger, whatever she calls herself, is good enough for Spratty Man. So yes, it's sprat amazing. That's what I'm going to tell you so. So I'm not being rude when I look down. Oh, you'll be able to see my bald spots, never mind. Um, I'm looking at your comments, because I, I'm intrigued I can bloom and see them. Oh God, I keep seeing myself though. How bad do I look on camera? Look, why am I showing you? She's watching me on camera. <laughs> More, I've just made myself huge. Big John. Small John again. So yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, no, only four comments at a time I could see. Oh, can you see bloody any? <laughs> there we go. Um, I could see what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could see nine. Oh, this is this is like giving you double the chance of me seeing your comment now. How blooming amazing is that, eh? Right, so let's have a wee look. Let's see what some of you are all saying. What's going on on the wee chat board here? That's what we're wanting to know, eh? Um, Elizabeth, where's your wee board? The wee board's in the bedroom. I forgot to bring it through. Thanks for pointing that out. Hey, listen, I may have forgot the board, but look at this. I've got my Tibetan singing bowl here, and it's stuffed full with all different kinds of cards, pendulums, um, everything in it. I've just picked it up. Well, I haven't. Obviously, it's mine. I've picked it up out the the spirit room and thought that'll do. Hopefully, there's something in there I can use. Jesus Christ! I'll be here all blooming night. Um, so I've got loads there. So we never brought the board, but we've got plenty of tools. Um, so never mind. Never mind. It's all here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Um, I call her Nicole Shirtswinger. Can never pronounce her name right. Kimberly. I'm way you on that. Let's just call her Sherzini Winger, whatever you call her. Um, Jean Noble, John, I really need a card reading. Oh, well, stay where you are because, you know, I'm going to be getting started on all them in a few minutes. I've only just got here, folks. I've just, I've just parked my arse on the bloody sofa. So I will get around to them. We will be doing... We're going to do loads of readings tonight. I'm feeling it in my bones that we're going to do even more than what I normally do. And you guys know I normally do loads. Uh, but I feel it in my blood. I could feel it pumping through the veins that it's going to be a good night. I can tell. So stay where you are. Pour out your vino or get that kettle on boil and pour me one as well. Um, do -do 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 -do. Wendy Watson. Hi, funny man. Hi, funny girl. How are you? Um, Ricky Hughes. Straight into the point. Message, please, John. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Not quite that time yet, but we will be getting to it in just a few moments. Luke Wilman, um, Williams, you always make my evening, John. You're amazing. Luke, I aim to please. Quite funny, Luke. My name was going to be called Luke. Can you imagine that for being getting a name? Luke Spratt. Eh, can you imagine that? But my mother, yeah, she must have been drunk, um, was going to call me Luke. Can you imagine? Luke Spratt. 
Gee whiz, I would have been teased like mad. Um, Jen's a cosy. John, do you see this guy who I hang out with as a friend? Not yet, sweetheart, but let's stay stay with me. And if I'm drawn into you when I get started, you never know. You never know. I could be coming to you. You know the script, folks. The first couple of minutes, the first five, ten minutes, we're getting the audience coming in. We're getting all the shares going. We're getting your interactions. We're lifting the vibration. We're getting the excitement going before we get into the readings, okay? So just sit tight for five minutes. Let's have a wee chin wag. Tell me what you've been up to. Tell me your stories and we'll all have a wee dance. Yes. Um, do -do 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 -do. Lisa Hip has the lizard come back? No. No, no, no. But my cat did, so that's good. Um, Elaine Smith, always put a smile on my face. Kissy kiss kiss to you too as well, sweetheart. Um, yes, I am originally from Dundee. Um, thank you very much. Um... Dee, 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 dee. Deborah is really hoping for a reading, please, John. I have got my fingers and toes crossed for you, sweetheart. When I open that spirit door, let's just hope somebody comes forward, okay? Um, yeah, definitely, Tracy Murray. Keep the hearts going. Keep the hearts going. I love a good heart. I love a heart, heart, heart. Um, I love anything, to be honest with you. Um, Doreen Murray, you keep freezing on my phone, so I'm calling it a night before you even start. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Well, that was a pleasant message. Uh, <laughs> dearie me. Um, Sinead Callaghan, HV Scald. HV Scald. No idea what that means. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, to Michael J. Duncan, I'm bored out my nut. I give up my job. You gave up your job, that's why you're bored out your nut. Never mind, hold in there, hopefully. Um, Lisa Hip, your energy's addictive. We love you. Yeah. Um, how is Erin and the boys? Erin is in the shower. She's always in the blooming shower when I come on live, isn't she? Yeah, she's, she's never anyplace else. She should move in. To the shower, I mean, obviously we already live together, but she should move into the shower, she's always there. Um, Ethan, oh, Ethan fell asleep at 20 to 7. It's going to be a long blooming night, I can just tell. It's going to be a long night. But he's sleeping, Ruri has been in his bed for about 10 minutes, but I could hear him, super hearing, I could hear him speaking to himself through there. He must be playing with toys in his bed. I'm no fussed, he's in his bed, he's got his nightlight on, so I'm a happy bunny. Happy, happy bunny. Yes, I am. Um, oh, dearie me. Sarah Macron, your comment is all one word. Right, let's see if we could see what this says. Thanks again for all the latest version of your choice. Thanks again for all the latest versions of your choice. You're welcome. Can you see the blank expression? I do not have a clue, but yes, you're welcome. <laughs> very, very welcome. I'm very good. Everybody's asking, how are you? I'm really good, thanks very much. I'm absolutely splendor. I'm splendor. I'm sure that's a bloody cheese or something, is it? Maybe it's not splendor. I'm sure splendor's a cheese. Maybe it's a slimming club. Who knows? Um, but I'm fabby dabby Dozy, I am. I'm going to have a wee drink of my juice. Hold on. Right. So, what kind of readings are we going to do today? I've got no blinking idea. I have got an array of readings that I'm going to be doing for you all this evening. For anybody that's your first time here, imagine putting those angry faces. Who did that? Who did that? Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Super bad. But that's all right. It's good. It's good and it's bad. People don't like angry faces. I don't care, to be honest. Um, because when you do an angry face, Facebook loves it. Facebook's like, yes, controversial video. Let's let more people see it. Let's push it out further. So you're doing me a favour. Um, so I don't mind if you're a spammer and all you've got to do is hit a blooming sad face on your button. Suppose it saves you beating your monkey, does it? Um, Splenda is an artificial sugar. It's a sweetener. I knew it was something like that. I just wasn't sure which one. I just wasn't sure. 
There's me thinking it was a slimming club. Well, I can get it away. It is, is it? It's a low-fat thing. Right, anyway, readings that we're going to be doing tonight. Yes, because hey-ho, as much as my banter and my chat's really, really good, we are here for the readings, aren't we? Um, we most definitely are here for the readings. So, um, Sarah, ah, please ignore my last comment. My eight-year-old daughter thought it'd be funny to go on my phone. Naughty eight-year-old daughter. Bed. There we go. That's that sorted for you, Sarah. Um, I hope she's off to her bed now. Right, so, readings. Here's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be opening my door in just a couple of minutes to the spirit world and I'm going to be inviting them forward to come in here and deliver a little message over to as many of you as I possibly can. Yes, anybody want a wee sneak peek at Em? She's just walked in in just a towel. I could see your eyes crack. Um... <laughs> We're also, I will be doing spirit messages, I'll be bringing those forward for you. I do have the pendulum which is in my singing bowl here, so we'll be doing your yes no questions as well. I'm also going to do, remember I did the aura readings the other day, I did the aura ones. So I've got the colour cards again, so we're going to do some of those also. We've also got in here the tarot cards, so we'll be able to have a look at October for you all. We've even got messages from your guides. So we'll be doing some guide cards as well. So, as I said, folks, I'm doing a bit of everything. We're doing an absolute big, massive round robin tonight of everything, including, most importantly, your spirit contacts, okay? Um, so what more? What else can you be doing on a Thursday night? Absolutely nothing. Sitting here with me on full blast and ready to enjoy some messages and you might even get one yourself. So we're going to get started folks. I think enough chit chat from me um, and we should just get on with the readings, okay? So how do you get a reading? It's pure and simple. The more you're interacting with my page, as in here, the more you're interacting with this live that's happening right now. We know it's happening right now. We know it's live because it tells us that it's live with giving us a little red flashy box. If that little red flashy box ain't there, folks, then you get ratty and call me all the names under the sun. I'm not ignoring you. It's no live. I can't say hi to you five hours after the live's finished. That's just ridiculous, okay? Um, I'm a psychic, but I'm not that good knowing that you're going to be coming on and watching three years later. But if you are, hi, I'm not naming you by name because I don't know you, but hi. But we are live right now. Yes, we are. And I could say a quick hello before we get started to Elizabeth, Sarah, Natasha, Gloria, Zoe, Shona, uh, Laura, Naomi, Sarah, Paula, Sarah Louise, Tate, Kerry Lee, Anne, Elizabeth Meekin, Gail Torrance. Hello. Welcome. So, the more you're interacting with me right now, folks, the better chance you've got of getting your comment on my um, screen. Now, it used to be I only seen four or five, but look at this. The iPad is out, and I could see about eight or nine of them now. Oh, doubling your chances, okay? So, if it's somebody from the spirit world you are wanting to come in, you need to tell me who you want to come forward by inviting them, by simply saying, John is my mum, my dad, my granny, my auntie, my uncle, my son, my daughter, my whoever, are they there from the spirit world? If I'm drawn to your name, I will come to you. If you've got a yes, no question, pop yes, no and your question. We will use the pendulum to answer that. If you want a wee look at your aura, so how you're going to be feeling, how you're feeling now and what colour is coming into your aura over the next seven days, just ask for a colour reading. Okay, if you want a wee look at October, how you're going to be feeling, any wee warnings that need to be told about or anything that's coming in, just ask for October Tarot. And if you want a message from your guide, just ask for a guide card. Boom! It's that easy, folks. Okay. Remember and hit your share button, folks. Hitting your share button is a big interaction with a page which prioritises your comments completely. Okay? Which means that your comment, if you're a page sharer, will get shown to me a lot quicker than anybody else's. So make sure you are hitting the share button and keeping all these wee thumbs, hearts, smiles, oohs, tears. Maybe know the angries because they're a bit nasty. But keep those interactions going along that screen as well um, so that you're staying interactive. Yes, yes, yes. The more of you that's here, the more readings we're going to do, the more fun we could have. And hey, 
that's what it's all about. So I am now going to have a wee drink of my juice. I'm going to open my spirit door as I'm doing that. And I'm going to get started on your free mini readings right here, right now. So after two, now we're not doing three, I can't be bothered with three. After two, let's all push our share button. One, two. And I'll have a drink whilst you're doing it. Right, okay. So, I'm getting my pad up and I'm getting ready. Elizabeth Meekin Dorich. I've just been drawn right into you. Straight away as I picked up my pad there, I was aware of a lady coming in. Okay, and I was like, right, where am I going? Picked it up and boom, drawn right into your name there, sweetheart. Okay, um, so I am aware of a lady coming forward here. I do feel that grand vibration as she comes in. I feel a wee, I feel a wee feisty lady as she's coming in here. You know, she's got this feisty nice. It's like she's ready for a fight. It's like she's, she's just on the ball. She's ready for anything that comes her way. I feel an extremely hard working lady as she comes in here as well okay I feel dark coloured eyes so I feel brown eyes with her someone who likes to get herself up get herself dressed she's not one for sitting around you know in her jammies or her PJs she's very much independent and she's very focused you know when she focuses her mind my god there is no change in it I feel she's someone that would much rather be outdoors than stuck indoors as she's coming in here as well I get the feeling from her that I need to connect um I need to connect April with her, so April must be significant in some way, either her birthday or her passing, but the April month would be significant here. I feel when she gets started, she just kept going and going and going and going as she's coming in here, because it's like she won't shut up when she's got started. She wants to connect with six. Okay, so there's either she had six kids, six in her family, but six must connect with her in some way here, because she's saying, talk about the six of them, the six of them. Um, so I need to connect with six as she's coming forward. She's somebody that said things as they were. There was no holding back. There was no changing it. Once she said it, that's it. It was final. I feel if you got on the wrong side of her, my gee whiz, you would hear the froth from her tongue. Um, but I feel she's coming in round about you at this minute in time, Elizabeth. And, you know, it's like she's saying, I'm by your side. I'm by your side. I'm making it aware that I'm by your side. If you haven't seen, do you know something? I feel I want to put a dragonfly next to you here, okay? Watch for something to do with a dragonfly in the next few days because I feel your your gran here is making reference to it, okay? This is her giving you a sign to let you know that she's rounding about you, okay? I feel that her passing would have been very, very quick, but very peaceful at the same time, okay? Because I've got this quick but peaceful feeling here with her. I'm also struggling with my breathing as she comes in, and I've got I've got a bad back, okay? I feel my back's really bad. Um, but a lovely, lovely energy from her as she's coming in here, but she wants you to know that she's by your side, she's watching over you, and she's guiding and making things just fall in place and I feel you've kind of noticed that recently it's like things are just falling into place and making sense for you okay take the love and I'll say thank you very much take care for now right let's see so keep your comments coming folks okay I do not deliberately ignore anyone as long as your share button has been hit your comments have a better chance of showing on my screen also make sure you're a page liker okay because that means your comment will show. Right, so let's have a wee look and see. I had one there that I was just about to look at. I was drawn right into it and it's disappeared. Um, Tony Badal, Tony Badal, pendulum please. Will my son be okay? And I even picked up the pendulum before I read that. Um, right, let's ask, let's do a pendulum for you. Tony, Tony. I... It's starting a swing and a yes straight away for you, Tony, there, okay? So there's a lovely yes swing coming in here that things are going to be all right, Tony, okay? Now, as I'm connecting into this vibration, I feel there's a bit of quietness that's got to come in, okay? I'm feeling there's a wee sort of... It's like the road just gets levelled and it's flat, okay? But I'm wanting to say it. As I move into next month, sort of the middle of next month, I'm seeing this pick-me-up coming in, I'm seeing this energy coming forward, and it just feels like things start to make sense and fall into place again. Oh, excuse me. Okay, take the love, and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Right, let's see. Where am I going to go to next? Paula Mather has said colour card please. So Paula, I am getting the colour cards out for you and I'm going to look at what's 
here in your aura. So this is what colours are around you right now, what colours sort of coming in and going out, and what colours are about to come in for the next seven to ten days. Okay, Paula? So let's just have a wee nosy posy and see. Right, okay, so at this minute in time we've got the lavender here, okay, which is all about, there's a calmness round about you at the moment, it's like something's brewing and you're not too sure what's happening, everything's a wee bit confused and you're like, right, I'm just waiting for it, I'm waiting for it, is it going to come, what's happening, this is this feeling that you've got around you, but Pushing into the next stage, we've got this lovely burgundy that comes in here, and this is about things starting to awaken in, this is things changing for you, this is you getting a wee bit of a buzz coming into your vibration, okay? However, taking them to, to the side and looking at what's just about to come into you over the next 7 to 10 days, we've got that lovely jade colour, okay? And this is take action, so this is all about... In the next 7 to 10 days, this lovely green colour starts to come in and you start to get this feeling of, right, I'm going to do it, I'm going to push for it, this is what I'm wanting, this is how I'm going to do it, okay? So that lovely green comes in and it just pushes your energy right up and it gives you that confidence that you're needing at the moment, okay? Take care, lots of love. So remember, oh, dearie me, Amy, Danielle, hoot, no sound, turn your volume up, love. <laughs> Know that you would have heard a thing I said there because you've no sound, but <laughs> never mind. Um, so remember, for everybody that's just joined in, you're here, you're live with John Spratt Psychic Medium. Yes, you know I'm live because it's telling you I'm live in a little red flashy box. Okay, it's either there or it's there or it could be there, but it's up here somewhere. Never mind. Okay. Um, the readings we are doing tonight is your spirit messages. So if it's someone from the spirit world you want to come through, just invite them forward by saying, John is my mum, my dad, my granny, my granddad, my whoever. Are they there from spirit? If I'm drawn into you and there's somebody here, I will come and deliver the message to you. If you fancy a yes, no question, ask yes, no and your question and we'll use the pendulum. If you want an aura reading, how you what's coming in, in the next seven days to your aura ask for a color card if you're wanting a wee look into october ask for a tarot october easy as pie and if you want a message from your guide ask for a guide card let's see who i'm going to I've got a gentleman coming in here so we're going to deal with this gentleman as he's coming forward here okay um Brian Norris. Hold on, Brian Norris. Wait till we just see. I love this comment from Brian Norris, so I'm going to read it out. Whose friend is this? I was talking to Derek Cora, wee pal Sam. He said in my ear, you're talking pish. I know Sam, because I know Derek, and I know Sam wouldn't use language like that, so I, I didn't believe you. I didn't believe you, son. But thanks for your comment. Anywho, let's go back to this chance. <laughs> People are fucking mental, are they? Um, anywho, so we're going back to this gentleman, and I do feel I've got someone's dad coming in here. So I'm just looking here, and I'm going to see who I'm going to be connecting into. Naomi Bradley, Naomi Bradley, I'm going to come to yourself, sweetheart. Okay, I've got a father vibration coming in here. I feel as I'm connected, as your dad's connected into me. He's about five foot nine in height as he comes in here. He would want to connect himself with the July month, so July must mean something to him. Either his birthday has passed or something special happened to him but the July month would mean something to him okay I feel a very quick passing with him I feel a very respected gentleman and I feel a gentleman who always gave respect where respect was due as well I feel somebody with a head full of knowledge because he's given me this busy busy head as he's coming in here okay um I feel as he's connected in as well. I've got brown eyes with him. There must have been a mark or something just round about here. I don't know if he had a spot or a birthmark, a scar, but there's something just here on him, okay? Because uh, he's drawn me into that part of his, his neck there. I get the feeling from him as he's coming in, he was a hard, hard working gentleman and I feel he was somebody that can kind of put his hand to anything as well, okay? Because he's just making me aware of you need it fixed or you need it done, I'm here, I could put my hand to it, okay? I feel he was quite a quiet gentleman until you got to know him and then you couldn't really get him to shut up, okay? I feel he was a family man, everything he did was most definitely for his family as he comes in here as well. Now I feel he's in and around you at this minute in time, sweetheart, and he's saying you need to go with it. 
okay? There's something going on round about you at the moment. You're toying, should I, shouldn't I? And I just feel like your dad wants to come in and he's just saying, go for it, okay? Go for it. Because you've been holding on just a wee bit of here and he doesn't want you to hold on. Your dad was someone that when he got something into his head, there was no change in it. It was like, all systems go, all blazes go. And this is what he's wanting for you. He's saying, right, you've thought about it, you've got the answer, let's go. And he's pushing you to just take charge now, okay? There's also a dog in the spirit side as well, sweetheart, because I'm aware of a... It feels about the size of a Labrador to me, so there's a Labrador-sized dog just pushing in here. Dogs are always for strength, so I know you're getting that wee bit of strength to help push you forward at this moment in time, okay? Take the love from your dad, sweetheart. No, he's in and around you, and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah! Take care. Erin is pointing me out to something. Um, don't even read it. Erin just spotted a, um, something online saying ginger cats for sale. What we like for ginger bloody cats in this house. Uh, <laughs> right, let's see where where I'm going to go to next. Oh, Naomi, thanks, John. I've needed that. Miss him so much. Know that he's in and around you, sweetheart. Okay, um, take care. All right, I'm just going to have a wee drink of juice, folks, and we're going to carry on with your readings. So whilst I'm having a drink, let's do the usual. Let's all hit our share button, and we'll carry on. <coughs> right, um... Tracy Thane, Tracy Thane, John would love a wee card or anything. Let's pull a wee, let's pull a wee message from your guide, sweetheart. Okay, because we've not done one of them. So let's pull a message from your guide, since we haven't done a, me a guide card today. Tracy, so you are getting the first one here of a wee message from your guidey poo. Okay, um, so what we've got coming in here for yourself is assertiveness, okay, assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to, okay? So at this minute in time, you're kind of like a wee bit of an odd and donkey. It's like you're just agreeing with everybody, you know? You're saying yes when you didn't really want to. You're just going along with things, okay? And your guides, your helpers want to step in and they're saying to you, it's now time to get that backbone. It's time to get your head held high and it's time to only say yes if you really want to. It's time to look after you, they're saying, instead of everyone else, okay? Take care, sweetheart. Lots of love. Right, pop them back in there. Um, do, 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 do. You're very welcome, Tracy Thane. You're very, very welcome. Very, very welcome. Right, okay. Oh, dear. Right, okay. I've got somebody's mum coming in. I've got somebody's mum coming in. Somebody's mum. She's very small. She's only about four foot five as she comes in here. She's very, very small. Very, very small. Four foot five. That's tiny, is it? How big's four foot five? So she's, oh, she's, oh my God, she's tiny as she's coming in here. Anywho, let me see who I'm drawn to for this. Um, I've got lots of people saying they're getting cut off tonight. That's probably why the figures are only going above 200. Um, Facebook in their usual typical technical gash. Um, right, let's see, who is this little lady going to? Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Caroline Watson, Caroline Watson, I'm coming at yourself, sweet sweetheart, I feel I've got your mum here, okay, now I've just seen your comment and your mum does say mum, okay, mum, is she there, and I feel this is your, your mum is very, very small, I feel she's only about four foot five, maybe four foot six at a push, okay, she really is small, okay, um, that's like Pokemon cards, what's Pokemon cards? <laughs> Anywho, as the as your ladies coming in here, um, do you know I feel that your mum would have passed with a heart condition, and I do feel it was either a heart attack that took her over or something to do with her heart. But it's definitely a heart 
con related condition and I feel it's something that she would have suffered with for quite some time as well, okay? Now I feel, Caroline, as your mum's coming in here as well, she's she's got hair and, it, you know, I feel it's all curly and it's coming to about here, you know, just under my ears as she's coming forward, okay? And I feel it's it's, it's a blondy colour as she's coming in, it's a really light, I didn't want to say it's grey, it feels, it looks blondy to me as she's coming in, okay? I feel as she's coming forward she's got false teeth because she's making me aware of her bottom teeth teeth being false as she connects into me here as well, okay? I'm also getting the feeling from her as she's connecting into my vibration that she's a bit of a busy boot. You know, she reminds me a wee bit of a bull in a china shop. It's like she's trying to get to one thing at one end, but it's like she just throws everything out the way to get there. It's like, oh, oh, this is where I want. This is where I'm getting to, okay? So I feel she's a bit of a bull in a china shop here. I feel where she's, she's telling me that her three, three, her three rings are still here, Caroline. Her three rings are still here. No idea what those three rings are. Well, I presume they're finger rings. Um, but they are still here, she's talking of, okay? I also get the feel that she's coming in. She's got a bit of a horsey th voice, you know? A th horse. Horsey. <laughs> Horse voice as she's coming in because I'm just aware of it coming in and it's crackling as she's coming forward here, okay? I feel a lot of love stepping in for her, Caroline, most definitely for yourself because she's just making me aware of all this love coming forward here, okay? Now, she's saying at this minute in time with yourself, sweetheart, there's something to do with the house move round about you. I feel you're wanting to move house, okay? And she's saying, sweetheart, it's coming. You need to hold on, hold on because there is a house move stepping forward to you. Know, she's just making me aware here that where you are at the moment has never felt comfortable to you, okay? And she's saying that change is coming in. Sweetheart, there's two cats in the spirit world and one of them's a ginger. Um, so I do feel there's a ginger cat in the spirit world. I'm not getting the colour of the other one, but there is that ginger cat coming in here. Please do take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Bless you. Right, um, let's see where I'm going to go to next. Right, um, Samantha Braid, yes or no, will I get the new job? Let's use the pendulum, sweetheart, and let's give you your yes or no answer, okay? So, yes or no about a new job. So we're swinging, no, oh, wait now, okay. So we got a yeah, we got a no to start with, then it moved into a yes, okay. Now, I'm just connecting it to the vibration, I'm going to confirm this with just a couple of cards, okay, because I'm getting that you're not getting this one that you've, that you've either just got an interview for or there's one coming up, okay? I don't feel you're getting that. But I feel there's something else you've already put in for, okay? I feel there's something else you've just put in for and it's like that's where I feel the happiness, yes. You have put away for two. I feel you have got something that you're either just going to the interview or you've just been... I feel that one's falling through. But the next one that comes in and I feel it's just a matter of days. I feel it's a couple of days away. This... This is where I feel a yes coming forward. This is where I feel the step forward new job is coming in for you, sweetheart, okay? Take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now, okay? Right, let's see where I'm going. Do you know what? I'm really, really thirsty. Um, Gemma Louise, we want flat sell this year. Yes or no? Gemma, let's have a look. I think you mean, will we sell this year? So will you sell the flat this year? Yes or no, Gemma, is what we're going to ask, okay? Will we sell the flat this year? Yes or no? Dearie me, I think I might put this pendulum in the bin tonight. Um, Gemma, that's a no swing for this year, okay? That is a no swing for this year. I don't feel you're going to get the house sold this year. However, as I'm connecting into your vibration here and the vibration of the swing, I do feel it comes in quite... It comes in quite early into next year, okay? I really do feel, you know, I want to say to you the 12th of February. I don't know why, but I'm wanting to give you the 12th of February here, okay? Hold on to it, let me know, take care, lots of love. Right, so, how are we doing? Oh, everybody's saying, my phone's froze on me. Oh, no, I can't hear. Ah, 
my jolly roger facebook is having a fart that's all we could say it's nothing to do with my end i'm sitting next to the wi-fi i'm sitting next to the wi-fi perfect perfect signal okay um so it will just be facebook being a bit of a pest at that Val Fraser, card please, and a smooch. I'm going to do you a card, sweetheart. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the colour cards. We're going to look at your aura. So let's see what's coming into your aura in the next seven days. Okay, so we're going to look at your aura right now. Your aura in the middle and the future aura. Okay, so at this moment in time, what we've got with you here is a ruse. A ruse blue. Okay, and this is sort of a protecting colour. So at the minute, it's like you're trying to protect yourself. You're keeping yourself safe. You're making sure everything is just right. You're not going out of your comfort zone. You're not pushing anything. You're just staying pretty much protected, okay? Now, in the next sort of two to three days, you will start to feel this lovely coral colour starting to come in, okay? And this is a pick-me-up colour. This is you starting to get that get that zest you're getting that woo haba baba um so you're getting that zesty feeling starting to come forward to you which is going to start picking you up ever so slightly looking into the next seven days we have that brilliance coming in which is a bluey white color that's pulling forward okay this is about you becoming you okay so you're very much going to be feeling on top of the world within the next seven days it's like there's good news coming into you and this color blues coming into your vibration coming into your aura which is really going to be setting you aside to push you and catapult you forward okay sweetheart take care lots of love right <sighs> Day. Let's have another wee nosy and see what is going on. So remember folks, my spirit door is open. My gee whiz, Facebook must be farting like mad because the viewing figures are dropping faster than they're climbing. Uh, which is not a good sign. But we're blaming Facebook um, because there is a lot of you comment and saying can you know saying it's froze and things like that um so that's a shame that's a shame never mind we'll carry on we're going to carry on um jillian petrie yes no is my health going to get better question mark smoochy smooch jillian let's have a wee look with the pendulum which is stuffed with malachite tonight again So we've got a yes coming in there, Gillian, okay? Now, as I'm connecting in the vibration that's pulling in here and the vibration um, of yourself, I kind of feel there's a wee change about to step in for you, okay? Now, I feel if you haven't just had a change in medication or something, there is something just about to come in within the next sort of couple of days here, okay? So I'm just aware of a change coming in. Once that comes in, yeah, there's a wee bit of an unsettled feeling. You're not too sure about things, but then... Things take that leap forward. Things really start to pick up for you. Okay. Take love, sweetheart. And I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Right. Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. Kimberly Miller. Tarot. October, please. Let's have a wee look for you, Kimberly. So this will be how you're going to be feeling in October. If anything exciting is coming in or if anything uh, is going to be there. Might be a warning, might not. But let's have a wee look with a couple of cards. Right. Okay, so we've got for October for you. Do you know I've got you? <laughs> I feel like I want to stick your heads in the clouds in October, okay? There's just this head in the clouds sort of feeling with you. It's like you've got your head down, you're focused on everything else, you're too busy looking back in the past to see what's in front of you, okay? Now, there is an excitement coming in in October as well, because I'm very much got the Ace of Wands coming in here, so there's a new beginning coming in. It's a light bulb moment, it's a spark, okay? So try and not spend too much time looking back on things, remembering things you did, looking at how you could change things 
do not spend too much time on that or you're going to miss an opportunity that's going to come into you. Now, as I'm looking at this opportunity, I really feel this is light bulb. This is unexpected, comes in from nowhere here, but it's exciting. I also want to say to you, watch for information coming forward. Now, to me, this feels something I do work-wise, okay? I don't know if you're looking for a change or wanting something different, but just watch for something as we're pulled into that October month. And I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Right. Where are we going to now? Oh, hello. Sorry, I've got a spirit contact. So I'm going to do this spirit message now. I'm just going to have a drink of juice before I allow them to speak to me. Right, I've got an uncle vibration coming in here, um, so I'm very, very aware of someone's uncle coming in um, as I'm pulled in. Now, as this uncle's connected into my vibration, I'm very much aware I want to put him about, I want to say six foot, he's tall. Um, so I've got a six foot gentleman, I feel it's someone's uncle that's coming in at this moment in time. I feel as he's connecting into my energy, there is a problem with his stomach, because I'm aware of his stomach here, okay? I don't know, no, this isn't why he passed, okay? He didn't pass due to his stomach, but his stomach was part of the condition, okay? Now, I feel as he's coming in here, I've definitely got a sense of humour with him, because I want to start laughing with him. I also feel his brown eyes as he's coming in, I feel he would... He would connect with three, and I'm also getting the. I also feel I'm wanting to connect um, February with them. So it's either his birthday or his passing, but February would connect with the gentleman as he's coming in here, okay? I feel as he's connecting in here as well, where. Dear me, he must have had diabetes, okay? Because I'm starting to really heat up and I could feel the blood flow in here, so he would have been diabetic, I feel. If not, he has got extremely high blood pressure or. It, he passed with blood poisoning. It's one of them. Um, but that is definitely coming in as I'm pulled in here, okay? Now, ah, thank you. I'm wanting to go to Julie Bright. Julie Bright, I feel this is your uncle, sweetheart. I've just been drawn into your name. Do you know what I've seen going across your name? Goldfish. No idea. I've seen goldfish going across your name. So there is definitely something. There is a con your uncle would have kept fish. Now, I don't want to say it was goldfish. He draw me into the goldfish, but he kept fish. Do you know what I feel? Koi. Big, big goldfish. Big, big goldfish. Okay. Um, but it's koi fish, I feel, as I'm pulled into him here. Now, I feel as he's connected into my vibration, he wants to come and round about you at the minute, sweetheart. And it's like he's saying, he's like he's saying, will you unpack the boxes? Okay. Unpack the boxes. I feel you've recently just moved and he's wanting you to get the boxes unpacked. You're probably like me, you've still got, see if you go in your shed, there's boxes there. I can't be bothered. Um, but I feel like you, there is still those boxes um, needing unpacked. And your uncle's saying, come on and get them done. Feel your uncle enjoyed a good wee drink every now and then. And he has given me whiskey and it's no cheap shite, okay? He likes good whiskey as he's coming in. He's also acknowledging a birthday. So there's a birthday round about you right now. It's either just been or just coming up give or take a day on each side there. Um, but he's definitely acknowledging that. I also feel there's someone's anniversary of their passing coming up at the end of this month because he's acknowledging that and I feel it would be a lady and I do feel it was your gran, okay? Please do take the love from your uncle and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah, take care. Here are the cats meowing. <laughs> it's, it's no spirit, folks. It is our cats. Um, Owen... Um, Owen, Banshee and Ginger are all in the kitchen meowing their wee back legs off wanting food. You'll hear them all fighting in a minute. I wouldn't mind. There's food there. There's plenty of food there for them. Hello, Paula. How are you, Paula Paula? I am ready for the cellar. But are you? That is the question, Paula. Are you ready for the cellar of doom? Bum, bum, bum. Yes, I am looking forward to it, Paula. I am, I am, I am. And as I've said your name, I'm going to look at your aura, okay? I'm going to look at your aura. I'm going to look at your aura, love. Um, Paula, your cats are out too. That's a pain in the neck. Do you know what? Plenty of biscuits up there in their tin, oh, in their food bowls, but no, they're wanting meat. Wanting bloody meat. Pain in the butts. Right, Paula. Let's look at your aura. I'm a fucking poet and didn't know it. God, I just swore. 
Right, okay, so we're going to look at your inner aura. What is around you right at this moment? What is just sitting, coming in, but leaving at the same time? And what's coming in within the next seven to 10 days? At this moment in time, we have this lovely violet color in your aura. And this violet in this way with your other cards you've got here, this is about creativity. And I think it actually says that on there, it does creativity at the bottom okay um so this is all a lovely calming sort of color round about you at this moment in time there's a lot of healing coming in round about you at the moment okay but things are feeling a little bit calm all right now looking forward into what's just sitting here and what's coming in and sort of leaving out we have got lemon okay and this is all about thinking awakening coming alive so in the next three to four days watch for just feeling this zest coming into you okay you just start to feel that lemon bitter sort of right okay i'm ready you're feeling a bit of focus seven days time that lovely green color comes in this is all about feeling rejuvenated this is energy coming in this is a bounce in your step and it's like the spirit world just pulling round about you they bung this green into your aura to lift you up there okay take the love sweetheart and i'll say thank you very much right okay where are we going where are we going um hey john i'm ready for the cellar lol will be so fun and scary um what's the cellar Oh, what's the cellar? You need to come at the set. You need to get tickets for Halloween and come ghost hunting with me and Lily Ann. Yes, we'll lock you in the cellar alone because me and Lily's too scared to go in it. Um, Paula, my Jack used to call me Lemon. How amazing! How amazing! No, he's around. No, he's around. He obviously influenced that card as well. Um, but lovely. Mwah! Bless your cotton wee socks. Um, right, let's do another little read on. Another little read on. A read on. Would you like a read on? Erin, would you like a read on? A read on. I'm feeling very. I'm feeling very French. You would want a read on. Erin just asked me if she has to pay for a reading. She could probably log into the system and give herself free credits. Right, let's see. Where am I going? You called him pineapple. Shucks. <laughs> Fab. Right, let's have a look. Let me see where I... You want to come? Details are on my Facebook page. You need to look at it. There is literally only a couple of tickets left. So grab them. Grab them, Kerry Lee. Grab them. If you need any more info, message me on the page. We'll get you sorted. Come on down. We'll lock you in a room. We're going to have the Haunted Museum where we're practically. Um, Lily's bringing her haunted collection with her. So all the spooky dolls. Um, me and Erin's going to do a ritual. Witch's ritual. She's looking at me saying, Emma, when was this agreed? So we're going to do a witch's ritual, yes, we're going to do some herb throwing and spell casting. We're going to do seances, we're going to lock you on rooms on your own, we're going to ghost hunting equipment. It's going to be bloody amazing, I almost swore again. So yes, you need to get tickets and if you haven't got, you need to be messaging me on the page and get those tickets, alright? Yes, you do, don't hold back message me today if you can't afford the full price you could pay some up and pay some up a couple of weeks later as long as it's paid by the day just let me know hey john ask erin if she would draw me a picture please lisa is actually attending halloween she's got a ticket for halloween so maybe maybe when we're there she can't do it right now we'll get erin on a draw She's going to draw a picture on the way. It might not be for you, Lisa, though, okay? But what she'll do... That's right. What she's going to do, she's going to connect in on the way down and she'll draw a spirit picture, okay? For anybody that hasn't seen a um, spooky spirit picture, my God, they're spooky. She sits and whilst I'm doing a live, she'll draw someone in the spirit world and then we show it and it's like spooky because... Somebody's like, that's my mum! Was it her mum, the last one? She, sent a photo. she then sent a photo, Erin Drewer, in the exact same pose. 
and it even creeped Erin out, okay? So what Erin's gonna do, she's gonna draw, she'll probably draw a couple because we're gonna be on the train for a good few hours. Um, so she'll maybe draw a couple for you. So if you're at the ghost hunt, you might get a wee reading. Hey, hey, and a picture, there you go. There you go, Kerry Lee, I'm there. I'm way looking forward to speaking to you, sweetheart. Right, let's do another wee reading. Let's do another wee one, let's do another wee one. Um, Elizabeth Futon, Elizabeth Futon, I've just been drawn into your name there and I'm very much aware of a lady coming forward here. I feel I've got a gran, I feel I've got a woman to be reckoned with, okay? I feel I've got somebody, I feel stubborn, I feel stubborn with her as she's coming in here, okay? I just feel when she put her foot down, she put her foot down. I feel she's someone that said things as they were, there was no holding back with her, she just blunted it out. I feel I need to connect with her the August month, so August must connect with your gran as well as she's coming in here but the August month would connect with her I also get the feeling where I'm wanting to say there's a breathing condition I feel there's a problem with her leg I feel she's complaining of her leg as she comes in here she's got a cheeky wee nature to her as well because I feel this cheeky sort of side as she's coming in here I feel she wants to come in by yourself sweetheart and she's she's there to listen okay she wants to come in and say she is listening to you at the moment okay at this minute in time you've sort of it's like you didn't know who to speak to, you don't know what to say, you don't know how to go about things, and it's like she's coming in and saying, I'm here, speak to me, I'm listening, okay? She wants to take some of your problems and your troubles away. I want to say, at night time, it's like you're aware of something out the corner of your eye. I'm seeing wee twinkly lights. I want to say, this is your gran coming in, okay? She's coming in to let you know she's around you. Sweetheart, take her love, know that she's here, and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now, okay? Right, my little kiddy winks, I'm going to be finishing my backside off round about now um, because I'm sweating and I need a ciggy and yeah, well, that's enough of an excuse to go away. <laughs> but I'm not going to be going too far. No, I am not, okay? I'm going to be logging into my text platform and I'm going to be logging into my instant messaging platform. Oh! Yes, instant messaging platform. Now, you will see my profile is on there um, when you go to the live chat section. It's amazing, folks. Get your credits. If you haven't got any, get credits. But £10 for 12 credits at the moment, okay? One credit equals one message. So get your credits. Instant message. The live chat is available worldwide. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can do it through my website or my app, okay? So get your questions starting to come in. I will answer as many as I can. Alternatively, get your text messages in to me, folks. I love a good text reading, yes. Get your texty poos in. Remember and put the word SPRAT. Um, why have I got this post pins? I've got no blinking idea. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't know how I managed that. I've pinned somebody's post and I don't know how um, I did it. I've just done it again. I don't know what I'm doing. Anywho, um, yeah, so make sure you get your text messages in for me. Make sure you put the word SPRAT, S-P-R-A-T-T. -T. Folks, your reply will cost you a maximum of £3. That's it. £3. If you want a wee phone read in, just push the call button on the Facebook page and it'll take you right through to my lovely team of mediums where you can have a read in right now with one of them. And they are amazing. I call them my little spratty psychics. Um, so make sure you get over to those guys. Folks, I am going to go and log in right now, but it has been absolutely cracking being with you all. Um, just like Tracy Thane said, cracking live as usual. It has been cracking being here with you all. Okay. How much to send a text to you? Genza. If you're in the UK or Ireland, that's the only way you could text in. It'll cost your standard network rate, which I can't do anything about. Um, that's even if you text your pal, it costs you that. Um, but your reply from me costs a maximum of three pounds. Okay, a maximum of three pounds. But the instant messaging platforms there, that's worldwide, and you can buy those twelve credits for only a tenner. Tenner. A tenner. One credit equals one message. Shh, that is spramazing, is all I'm going to say. Spramazing. No just amazing, but spramazing. Aye. Spra, pra, spra. So, 
I am going to log in to my instant messaging and text platform as I'm sitting here with you all. Yes, I am. To let you all know that I am blooming there. So, let me put in my credentials. That's what they call it, credentials. So, I am now officially logged in. I'm logged in, folks. Okay. I am sitting there. Look. I'm sitting there, loggy pooed in, and awaiting your IMs and your texts. So, get them blooming in. In fact, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, let me see, let me see. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm trying to look at this. Hold on, I can't see a blooming thing as I'm looking on here. Duh, damn it. So... I don't know what I was going to do, but I can't do what I was going to do because it's no playing ball. Ah, there we go. I needed to refresh my system. Right, so get your texts in now, folks. Get your IM chats in and let's take your readings over to there. Until the next time, folks, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.